What's up guys, Joe with Momentum Watts. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about our 72 volt build, what exactly it entails, and what it costs to build your own. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so we'll kind of start front to back here. Right off the bat, I pieced together my own fork kit here. I started with a 12 inch pit bike wheel, and then I got a disc, and I got a caliper, and kind of pieced it together. But as you see, there's a lot of brands now that sell a bolt-on kit. That might be your best way to go um, for simplicity's sake. I think uh, Electronco has a kit for like 450 bucks. What I like about my kit specifically, it's a 600 millimeter length, so it's not quite as long. Most kits are 630 millimeters. So it's 600 millimeter forks. Um, I got a set of triple trees. I got these pro taper bars, kind of splurs on the pro tapers because I'm a brand whore. Uh, but this setup's really good. I weigh about 300 pounds and I'm really happy with it. I really prefer the pit bike wheel. It's a lot more girthy, and this tire is shit because I was being cheap, so I just grabbed my stock razor tire. Uh, but I've noticed the pit bike wheels are much more robust and really seem to hold up a whole lot better than the razor wheels. Also, by running the pit bike wheel, you could run a full-size disc, and you could really run a nice like full-size caliper. I was running the zoom brakes before, and they were good. Uh, but now with the 72 volt, you know, the zoom brakes, you know, they really just weren't cutting. And even with the 48 volt, the zoom brakes were kind of a little leery. So, you know, running a real set of brakes is really helpful as well. We'll stick on the suspension here. We'll talk about all that first. Um, I've just got a 200 millimeter Amazon shock in there. Um, it's not that great. I'd really recommend going with the air shock. This one works good, but I'm also 300 pounds. So if you're a lighter guy, the shock's really not going to be good for you. For the rear wheel, I'm just running a wheel off of an SX because we've got a couple SX models here. Um, I like the SX because they come with that red hub and you can also get it with the green hub and the black wheel. So I think they're a little nicer than the MX. You can see I've got Sierra 50 plastics here and a Sierra 50 tall seat and I've kind of got that Suron looking thing. Um, the Sierra 50 obviously has an exhaust. So when you try to run the number plate out here, it kind of bows out and looks stupid. So I just went ahead and shaved the rear fenders and I'm running without it. So the part everyone really cares about, the drivetrain. Running a 72 volt 20 AH battery from a Morge. Uh, running the 3000 watt, don't get me uh, mixed up there. I think it's a 3000 watt Electro & Co motor. It's the motor they use for the 2.1 kit. And then I have their programmed Kelly controller. And guys, it, it's been a really great setup. Uh, I'm also running their throttle. Um, one and two, one is very different, but two and three are kind of similar their key set up, and then I have my phone out there so that we can run speeds. Um, like I said, I'm a heavy guy, I'm like 325 pounds, and this thing really boogies with me on it still. I'd imagine most of you riders are a lot lighter than that. Um, I've put a 40 pound rider, I'm sorry. I've put a 200 pound rider on it, and it goes about 40 miles an hour. Uh, with me on it being so heavy, I can only get in like the mid 30s, but it's been a really good power. So if you clicked on this link, you probably wanna know, how much does it cost to build a 72 volt? Well, I'm gonna tell you, I broke it down into a couple different categories of building out the whole bike, but let's jump right into the drivetrain. Total cost on the drivetrain for a 72 volt setup with a good controller, of course, $1,030.58. Let's jump into the breakdown of what exactly that is. As far as the battery, we picked a 72 volt from a Morge Power. That's 20 AH, which is a little bit on the low side, and 100 amp. But again, guys, I'm a 300 pound rider and it works just fine for me. Ride time is pretty good as well and the battery doesn't get too hot. As far as the motor and controller, we went with ENC's Ultimate Razor Plug and Play Kit. And again, you could do this cheaper if you wanted to get your own controller and program it. And if you wanted to get a different motor. Um, but again, if you're just getting into this, the plug and play kit, it's very easy to install. Um, it is literally plug and play. There's no wiring that you have to do. It comes with a throttle, a key switch, everything like that. Um, the controller was the Kelly KVD 7212NX, very popular. Um, I've been very happy with this setup. And like I said, completely plug and play, you know, no complaints. Next big expenditure to talk about was the front end. As you know, they're stock front end. While they're inverted forks, they're not so great. They're not adjustable. I built my own inverted fork kit. Um, I got the fork legs and the wheel on sale. Um, that was really cheap, 114 bucks. I got a set of Chinese pit bike clamps. Then I had the uh, reducer sleeves that I got from Ride or Die. Um, they're under a stem rod. I got a brake caliper from a pit bike um, with the master cylinder and everything from eBay. 
I uh, needed a 15 millimeter axle, some M6 bolts, and the pro taper bars. I splurged a little bit on that. Uh, total for that came to $423.68. If you didn't get the pro tapers, you know, you'd get it a lot cheaper. It'd probably cost like $350. Bucks. Um, but like I said, instead of piecing together a fork kit, you can buy a complete pre made fork kit from a lot of different companies out there for about the same price, maybe a little more, a little less. Last expenditure here is just general cost. And these are things that I may have replaced. Like I had the 48 volt kit from Faster Scooters. I tried 48 volt lithium. So a lot of these costs aren't going to be applicable to your build because they're things that I then, again, replaced when I did my 72 volt. But you'll see things like the zip ties um, that I needed for different harness stuff. M6 hardware. We're really getting into the nitty gritty. Um, the shock is on there. The zoom brakes. So a lot of these costs won't be applicable to your 72 volt build. More just wanted to put this up to say that, you know, guys, this is a hobby. Is it? It is expensive. It's going to cost you money, and it adds up quick. We just went on a trip. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and it was insightful into your own 72 volt builds that you might want to do. Fortunately, we've got a couple more bikes at the shop, and we're probably going to do a couple more builds. So please like, subscribe, and leave in the comments what you think we should do with our next build. Thanks so much. See you guys.